The United States wants to deploy Marines 60 miles from Russia. I'm telling you folks, we're not getting headlines like this from mainstream media, but all this is happening in real time as you're tuning in live to open your eyes people right now. I'm going to repeat the headline again. United States wants to deploy Marines 60 miles from Russia. Classified Norwegian cave system hosts combat equipment for over 15,000 Marines. The United States wants to deploy Marines at a base in Norway only 60 miles from Russia. If the proposal is approved by the Norwegian government, a rotating force of 300 Marines would be deployed at Virnes, an air station confirmed in a, an air station located outside the city of Trondheim near the Russian border. The request was confirmed in a statement from the commanding officer of Marine Forces in Europe. He says, and I quote, we enjoy a very close relationship with the Norwegian Armed Forces, and a limited rotational presence in Norway would certainly enhance this relationship and our ability to operate together. This is according to Major General Neil E. Nelson, commander of the United States Marine Corps Forces Europe and Africa. He goes on to state the following. If approved by the Norwegian government, a Marine Corps presence in Norway will increase NATO's ability to rapidly aggregate and employ forces in Northern Europe. Why would they need to rapidly inf uh, you know, why would they need to rapidly employ forces in Northern Europe? It's because there is a distress of nations. There is a war that's about to take place. They are preparing for war, folks. A spokesman for the Norwegian Defense Ministry, Lars Jimbel, said, and I quote, The United States is a long-term and close ally to Norway. U.S. participation in military exercises and training in Norway is one element in this long-standing and close security policy relationship. He goes on stating the following, Considerations about how to tailor allied exercise activity in Norway is a continuous effort. A limited rotational U.S. Marine Corps presence in Norway is a possible option currently being considered. Even though dialogue has been ongoing at the military level, the process at the political level is still ongoing. They're making this sound like it's just another day in the neighborhood. It's not a big deal. It's just something they want to add in their training exercises. Listen, to deploy Marines 60 miles uh, away from the Russian border, it lets everybody know, especially the Kremlin, that they're getting ready for war. How, you know, how would it be, how would, what, this is interesting, folks. We gotta, what is in the mindset of Putin? What is he thinking? Can you imagine if we have Russian soldiers 60 miles off the border of the U.S.? How would that be to the citizens of the U.S.? We will, listen, folks, it's getting heavy. We would be clearly seeing that there is a possible war that they're getting ready for. Oh, dear friends, listen, we, we, it's, it's a continued sign of the times, but let's continue with the headline. It says here in Norway, a, may, uh, a, a member of NATO already hosts a significant amount of pre-positioned military equipment in climate-controlled caves across the country in preparation, hear this, for possible war with Russia. Maintained by a crew of 100 Americans and Norwegians, the complex houses enough combat equipment to support over 15,000 Marines. They're getting ready for war with Russia. I'm reading it. You're, you're hearing it. This has been reported through Reuters, BBC. Uh, listen, this is, it, 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 it's stunning that they don't mind putting it on the World Wide Web, but they won't discuss it unless you hear it with your ears. Oh, dear friends. Well, let's continue. Main time, uh, let's see, where are we? It says here, the cave complex was used during the last decade of the Cold War. So there, we, the U.S. is positioning our Marines in the same Cold War tactics, in the same area that we were during the time of the Cold War. This is a heated war. Just can't tell me about a Cold War. This is getting hot to trot. This is, it's, it's heated, folks. It says here, the cave complex was used during the last decade of the Cold War, but the United States questioned whether or not to continue maintaining the complex following the collapse of the Soviet Union. The Norwegian government ultimately decided to pick up the cost of maintenance. Here's a quote. Any gear that is forward deployed both reduces cost and speeds 
uh, up our ability to support operations in crisis. So we're able to fall in on great on gear that is ready to go and respond to whatever that crisis may be. This is according according to Colonel William Bentley, operations officer for the Second Marine Expeditionary Brigade. Now. The deployment of NATO forces to Norway is clearly a provocative act directed at Russia. Norway shares a 121-mile border with Russia, while the Russian northern fleet is based in the Murmansk Oblast approximately 100 miles from the border. Folks, this is getting heavy.